Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris coming to you from the Diocese of San Diego where the bishop here is perhaps the bishop who is the most out front promoter of heresy and sacrilege in the United States and that is really saying something. Many faithful Catholics were concerned when Robert McElroy was named Bishop of San Diego and their fears are being realized. McElroy has publicly stated that divorced and civilly remarried Catholics can receive Holy Communion, a complete defiance of church teaching. His instruction to them, well, if your conscience allows it, then it's okay. That's his criteria. But his criteria leads to scandal and sacrilege. The church has never taught that people living in adultery can receive the body and blood of our Lord, regardless of what their personal subjective conscience tells them or their belief is. If they are having sex outside of sacramental marriage, then they must not approach the altar to receive, nor can their sin be excused or overlooked or rationalized away so they can approach. This is why the church canonized St. Sir Thomas More and Bishop John Fisher of Rochester, a good bishop, who not only taught the teachings of the church, but also died for them. Bishop McElroy has become a poster boy for all that currently plagues the church. He is a thoroughgoing modernist. He promotes everything that Pope St. Pius X warned the hierarchy about in the early 20th century, about the heresy of modernism, which he called the synthesis of all heresies. McElroy is precisely the kind of bishop and churchman that the saint foresaw and decried in his 1907 encyclical Pascende Domini Gregis, decrying modernism. By scandalizing the faithful in San Diego and many, many others throughout the world, McElroy is in effect going a step further with his pronouncements and striking at the heart of the church, the source and summit of the faith, the real presence. This is what Judas did when he scurried out of the Last Supper to betray Christ. All these modernist theologians and bishops and clerics in effect deny the church's teaching on the real presence. At the bare minimum, that's what their actions betoken. McElroy has assumed the mantle unto himself of disruptor when it comes to the political arena. He said so himself up in Modesto, California a few weeks back. He and so many other bishops like him have jettisoned the spiritual for the temporal and slapped a religious label on what they are doing. What they are doing in the realm of politics has nothing, and they need to hear this loud and clear. It has nothing to do whatsoever with the salvation of souls, no matter how they dress it up. Their constant inane ramblings about immigration and so-called climate change are all a pure smokescreen. Guess who's smoke? To turn the church into a man-centered organization, just like Satan wants. In his blather and bluster in Modesto, Bishop McElroy harangued on about the need to disrupt the political climate of the day. Where is all his blather and bluster about disrupting Planned Parenthood and the child butchering industry which each year murders almost a million babies in America? McElroy's errant theology, if you could call it that, is really just a pretense to push socialism and left-wing ideology under the guise, under the cover of theology and Catholic teaching. Questions need to be asked here, serious questions, because of the enormity of the issue, the sacredness of the Eucharist. This is the same bishop who has permitted a transgender to become a so-called Eucharistic minister. This is the same bishop who praised a very public homosexual parish here in San Diego as a model parish, more desecration of the Blessed Sacrament. He's down with the gay agenda, he's down with sacrilege, he's down with skirting authentic teaching in lieu of prudential judgment, and then painting that prudential judgment as dogmatic. He chastises his priests who actually believe the faith and promotes and advances those who share his wicked agenda. How is this not heretical? In what fantasy world is this bishop's ramblings not deadly to souls? Remember that no heresy has ever gained traction in the church that was not first begun by or promoted by a bishop or a priest. Those who are most prominent are the biggest targets of Satan. And when they fall from grace, as McElroy has, and begin doing the demon's bidding, the effect is evil. The leftist world is celebrating this bishop. He is courageous and a leader and speaks like no other, blah, blah, blah. Well, 
He does, in fact, speak like another. He speaks like the apostle of social justice, the patron saint of social justice, who complained when the expensive nard was poured over our blessed Lord and then whined that it was wasteful and it could have been sold and the proceeds given to the poor, the poor, poverty, fight poverty, the poor. He denied the real presence and in his actions, in his actions and presented a facade of caring for the poor. Does the name Judas ring a bell, Bishop McElroy? Pray for this man that he either repent and reform or both he and his agenda be brought to an end. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.